one of the really great points of feedback I get when I practice here with TrackMan is understanding why the ball moves the way it moves. And the club path and the face angle relative to the path have a huge impact on that. So I've got a number of shots I'm going to walk through and see how those different numbers, the path and the face to path, impact the ball flight. And hopefully as you understand those, that can help you in your practice. So in terms of definitions, the path is the direction of travel of the center of the club through impact. The face to path is now the angle of the face compared to that direction of travel. And the face angle is the actual position of the face at the moment of impact. So the face can be left or right of the path. And then when you add those two together, you get the face angle at the moment of impact. So this first shot that we look at is a terrible shot. It goes a hundred feet left. Let's figure out what the configuration is that makes that happen. So this first one, the path is positive, but the face angle is a larger number. It's negative, but it's a larger number than the path. So what this does is this sets up the initial angle of the face at the point of impact to be pointing left, and it also puts a left spin on the ball. So this thing ends up 100 feet left of the target, and of that 100 feet, 40 of it was a curve. So it, it launched left and was spinning left. This one here, we see a combination where the path is to the right, but the face angle is still a little larger in magnitude than the path, but it's a lot better than the prior shot. We still are launching the ball to the left of the target line, and the spin, this generates a left spin on the ball, so it ends up still reasonably left of the target because the face angle is a larger number than the path. Now let's look at some shots where the value of the face angle is a smaller number compared to the club path, and we're going to see that the ball comes much closer to the line. When the face to the path is a negative number, it'll impart spin to the left, which you see in terms of the spin axis. And when the face to path is a positive number, it puts a spin to the right, or a positive spin axis. Spin to the left being draw, spin to the right being fade. On this shot here, we've now got the, the different scenario, right? We've got a path which is positive, the face angle which is negative, setting up for a draw spin. The spin axis being a negative number, that's a draw spin. But we can see at the point of impact, because the face angle is smaller than the path, the face angle is still to the right. We're imparting a left spin onto the ball, so it curves and it comes back almost dead on square. So this is a number combination that I try to strive for, is the path positive and the face angle is negative, but it's a smaller number than the path. That will get you coming back pretty close to the center. This is really one of the most important things to understand about ball flight as you practice with TrackMan. If you can get the face angle relative to the path, to be on the opposite side. In other words, one is positive and one is negative. And the face angle in magnitude is a smaller number than the path. The face to the path is smaller than the path. Then you're going to get ball flights where it, cur it starts right and it comes back left for a draw. Or for the fade, it starts left and it turns back to the right, to the center line. This is the type of shot shape that the better players play with. So pay attention to your path and face to path as you practice and strive for that configuration. Now here's one where you're playing a fade. So the path is negative and the face is open. So the spin is a positive number, which is a uh, fade spin. But again, it, so it launches a little bit left of the line. It's curving right and it comes back again pretty close to the center. So whether you're playing a fade or a draw, the same principle applies. You want the path number to be larger than the face, and you want the face to be the opposite uh, sign. So if the path is negative, the face should be positive, and for the draw be the opposite, the path will be positive, face negative. So a really good question is, don't I want my face angle to be pretty much zero at the point of impact? Isn't that the objective? Get that blade to be facing the target at the point of impact. So let's look at a shot that has that configuration and see how the ball flies. 
Here's one where they're pretty close to the same, and so the face is almost dead on square to the target, but because we're putting a spin on the ball, it's still curving and it's a little bit left. So your objective isn't to have the face angle to be square to the target at impact. The objective is to get the spin so that it brings it back to the line. So if we start on the target and we have spin, obviously it's not gonna be coming back directly on the line. And then here's uh, again a number, type of number I'd be really happy with. My path is positive, the face is shut relative to the path, but it's a smaller number. So the ball launches a little right of the target with left spin, curves left, and it comes pretty much dead on square to the target. So hopefully this helps you understand the different number combinations. Basically get the face angle relative to the path to be a smaller number on the opposite side draws for a right-handed player, path positive, face negative, fades, path negative, face positive, spin axis, negative is a draw spin, positive is a fade spin.